As I was growing up, the nature could offer us a lot of things. We didn't need to worry about what we are going to eat because we would basically find fruits in the bush and uh, we would find a lot of places to play around with the nature and all that. But as time goes by, I realized that things were changing very fast. The problems that is happening around the world, if we look at from different point of view, such as mine, which is like from like third world, you know, from like not Western, not totally developed, then maybe we can find a new solution. When I was a child, around six years, seven years, I, I experienced the Gulf War. And the happy moment was when the UN helicopter landed in our backyard and they would give us some candies. And as a child, this was a very happy moment. Ever since, I wanted to be part of the UN. And when the opportunity came, I took it. Part of my passion for being a development worker is precisely also tied to my own role as a father and the personal responsibility that I feel not only for my kids but also for the children around the world. I knew that I really, really wanted to do something that helps people and also something that goes beyond just being in, in Denmark where things are actually quite well, but of course in any country there's always needs for improvements. When I got accepted to the JPO program, I was blown away. The JPO program offers a great opportunity to get into the UN system, makes you connect with real work, and a lot of the JPO positions are field-based, so this means that it will give you an opportunity to see the work as it happens in real development situations. You come in in the office in the morning and you hear somebody greeting and saying good morning in Spanish and then you have lunch with another person and uh, you probably speak in, a, in French and then you have a coffee and with somebody that speaks Chinese and you go home with somebody saying goodbye in Arabic. I found that extremely fascinating. When I saw the JPO program, the position in Rwanda, trust me, I told one of my friends this was my position even before I applied for it. When I see current JPOs, well, I see, I see myself 20 years ago. I see, I see a lot of passion and, and I see the will to, to, to join an organization, contribute, listen, learn, and, uh, and also you know, try to constructively criticize and try to contribute to whatever change uh, can be brought about. If you stay in your mother's house for long, you think your mother is the best cook but you'll be surprised when you move out. When you travel, they suddenly get to question like, well, why, why is it actually like that? Uh, they're doing it differently here. You get to know new countries, you get to know new people. Copenhagen is an amazing city. I've been here for 19 months, and every day I fall in love even more. Coming here to New York City was a big adventure. The sounds, the smells, uh, the noise, the, the busyness, it's exciting and overwhelming at the um, same time. When I first arrived, it was January and it was very hot here. That was nice. <laughs> and I get to see the vast Indian Ocean whenever I feel like it, on, on the weekends. That is also nice. Rwanda is uh, the country uh, commonly referred to as the country of a thousand hills. Uh, the landscape is so beautiful. I think Beirut is very fascinating in the sense that it has lots of uh, contrast between both the old and new. When you look to one side, you see, uh, see the ocean, the sea, and then to the other side, there's mountains. You can see snow on top of the mountains. I would like to be part of the transformation or change that you see, to be in the front line. I find the joy and I think it's very good for us to follow our heart. Um, working as a program analyst within the Bureau of Policy and Program Support on the area of rule of law, justice and security. I'm a program analyst in the environment and poverty reduction. I'm working on local economic development and livelihoods with specific focus on women and youth.
What I found interesting with my work is that I get to work both at the country office working on the proposals and project formulation but also going to the field a lot and it involves a lot of engagement at the community level but it gives you the opportunity to see the direct impact of uh, of what you're involved in. We all come from an interest to develop, an interest to do change, and see the change that we're doing. I think one of the proudest moments of my career you know, is how you know, I responded to a major disaster that took place in 2005 in Pakistan. What you learn as a JPO in terms of decision making can be applied in your career later on. The problems that we're currently facing in the world are enormous. This really needs the effort of all of us together. And I feel really privileged to be working uh, in an organization like the UN, where all people from the whole world come together, share expertise, knowledge, and resource to try to tackle these problems together. Never stop learning and always try to understand what makes this world work, what uh, can make this world better. Strategically calculating factors doesn't really work when it comes to your personal life. When you think there is a new chance coming to you and you feel quite excited about it, I think you should go and try. <laughs>